Hello, this is Neary with Sword and Steel, and I am creating a series of videos just to test out all of these new things. I've created a video for that, so you can check that out in the description or find it on the channel. I have created a video for this guy. And oh, and if you missed the earlier video of this one, I did create a video for that one as well. Anything else that you see in here are all discontinued ones, which I do compare to, to the new variant in the videos. So check those out after this one. And this one is going to be about this spray stick. this is a spray stick. Now, I have used multiple times over their previous spray stick and the issues that I found with that spray stick were not actually that much. It was a bit of a nuisance to put uh, the elastics to the model, to attach it to the model. However, the elastics did last for the entire time that I've used it, all the way up from the video that I originally put it in to now. The elastics have, la uh, have lasted. I have lost a few, but I still have more than enough because they give you extra. At least they did, I'm assuming 20. They have 20 in here. Um, I, they gave you extra so that even if you lost them, you still had plenty to use. I have used the elastics to strap on uh, models to other things. So the elastics, of course, being elastics and very good uh, durable elastics um, found their way into other areas. And the spray stick, the only negative thing about it really was that there was the handle only on the one side. So the other end, you had to just grab a hold of non-handle like, which um, I fixed by putting two spray sticks together. The fact that they created a new one with a rotation um, sounds like they were listening. All right, let's have a look. Here's all our elastic bands. They do get covered in paint, but I've never found a problem with paint from them getting onto the miniature. Ever, ever, ever. Hmm. Oh. E Just need a little bit of strength. Maybe more strength than I have. Eh. Okay, we're good. Ooh. Ah. Well, it's not coming off again. As you can see, it attaches so that it won't come back off. Can you put something like this here and attach it like that? Yes, you can. Now we can put a uh, thin based miniature on. Not so good if you have 50 of them, I suppose, but there's one. I know what I should paint. Sisters. Oh, these are gray. Doesn't feel like it's gonna break. I'm gonna pl play with it now, see if I can. Um, these are definitely wide enough that you can also use them for uh, assembling terrain pieces. Um, as you may see in the video that I'm showing you right now, I use elastic bands and hair bands to uh, attach models together. So these are definitely wide enough and strong enough to um, use for assembling terrain. Let's put it down together. All right kind of feels like I wouldn't mind having this off so that I could uh, put my miniatures. How easy is it to take it off? No, no, I'm not going to try that. But it would be handy to uh, be able to take it off, set it down, put your miniatures on, put it back on the handle, and then go to town. As it is, 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I comfortably put five miniatures on. Um, I could put ten on. I'm sure I could bring these guys down and then putting those guys up. Here we go. Do 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 do. Bum 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 da 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 Oh, it's a hurricane! Yeah. Glue them to the sprue, plop them in. Imagine that he's glued. And he can be painted too! Alright, time to try it out in the airbrush. The other one was too large for my airbrush booth that I'm currently using this one in, but as you can see, it fits perfectly in there. I have enough room to rotate it and everything. Um, I'm just painting them ivory, Mecca Ivory from Vallejo. Um, doing one coat over all of them, letting it dry mostly, and then doing a second coat. But as you can see, I can rotate and paint, flip them upside down if I want to, which is, was the point of me doing that earlier shaking motion to make certain I could definitely flip them over and continue painting without having to worry about them falling off. This is a definite improvement from the last one. Do let me know what you think about it and whether you'd be using such a thing. If you had any questions with respect to anything they say that these are going to fit right into these holes as you saw the new assembly stand one fit right into the hole just check after it's been painted i suppose anyway it fits right into the hole just fine still curves upwards curves upwards so that you can stand it like that without it falling anywhere and let it dry properly I mean, if you're going to be doing this day in and day out, maybe you'll want to wrap something around here. Elastic bands, perhaps, to make it more comfortable. Oh, shoot. Uh, to make it more comfortable, a fit. I think that is where I'd be putting all my elastic bands so I don't lose them. If for some reason you're a lunatic and think you should paint more than one of these at a time, it does not fit fit but don't let that deter you you can easily secure a base that doesn't necessarily fit within these confines to this don't want it going across fine i can understand you don't want to go in across let's do it just along the edges over here to there over here to there, just enough to support it so it can't go anywhere. So you can definitely do larger bases on this thing, which is the handiness of um, these elastic bands. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Make certain to check out the other videos in the series if you're interested in any of the other pieces that I mentioned in this video. I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Whoopsie! Thank <laughs> you.